what's good guys i hope you're doing well it's been a while since i dropped a video i've actually recorded a few and then just didn't end up dropping them so i'm recording this i wasn't originally intending to show a breakdown of this beat but it did pretty well on my youtube channel you can check it out in the link below yeah but let's not waste any time uh let's get right into the breakdown on my screen right here this is the stem essentially for this beat and this is the melody all right so the first thing i did was i opened this taisho koto preset in xenology and i came up with this melody So it looks complicated to make, but it really isn't. Let me break it down to the side here. So you basically start with a root note and you just do the simple copy it over four times and then shift it down four notes. So you end up with something like this and I ended up copying that down an octave. Then to start building the melody, all I did was I basically followed the notes in the scale. So I'd basically skip a note, drop a note, and then I would just copy this over and over. So this repeats all throughout, then I added more notes on the top so it wasn't as boring. So I went with just following whatever notes were in the scale like so. So you're basically playing this chord, an E, G, B chord, so probably, so I think that's an E minor. That's what it sounds like in the piano. And then for the last little thing I did was I just went up a little bit higher so there was a higher pitch sound and I just added in notes wherever I saw it fit. And then all I did was, once I had a kind of rough melody, I chopped some notes up and shifted things around just to give it more of a bounce. So this is what it sounds like in the piano. The one thing you want to keep in mind is when you're doing root note changes, I always have some sort of change in the melody. Uh, just so it kind of gives you the heads up that, oh, there's a change in the melody. So once I had this melody in Xenology done, I added some effects to it. Um, the two main ones that I added was RC20 and uh, some reverb. And then throughout the song, I turn on and off the halftime. This is what it sounds like with halftime. And that's just stock halftime settings, nothing crazy with that. Next thing I did was I just kind of built off that melody. So I added another Xenology, but this time I added the Polysynth preset. And this is what that sounds like. So it's just the same pattern here, copying over another four bars. Nothing wild and crazy, uh, just staying within the scale and using these half step notes. Then I used expand, I used a Kodo preset and I copied that exact same melody that I came up with in Xenology and this is what that sounds like. So it sounds the exact same as Xenology, it's just a little bit more muted so you can use this change up throughout the song. The next thing I used was this flute echo in Xenology again and I came up with this counter melody. Super, super simple, but what I did was I added some cool effects to it to kind of give it a more interesting sound. Uh, so I added Portal, Magic Switch, and some reverb, and this is what that sounds like. So the Portal preset, I had my own default settings on it. I have a preset that I have, uh, it's called PJ's Dark because I couldn't think of a better name. Uh, I added some Magic Switch which is a chorus and a reverb uh, effect and I added some reverb to it. And the very last thing I did was I added a little bell pad in the background uh, just to give it some atmosphere and this is what that sounds like. And I used no effects on it and this is what it sounds like. And honestly, that was it for the melody. I didn't add too much to it. The only effects I had was on the flute and a little bit on the original uh, Xenology Kodo preset. And that was just for the halftime and darkness sound of it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. Uh, if you like the beat, make sure you go hit like on this video and you check it out. Uh, I'll link it below again. Make sure you guys stay tuned. I just passed 1K subs, so that's pretty awesome. I uh, wasn't planning on hitting it this early in the year. Uh, so my goal for this year will be like five to 10K, which will be a huge milestone. So if you guys like this video, you guys like the shorts I'm putting out, you guys like the tutorials, skits, all that stuff, make sure you just stay subscribed and you check out my Instagram and TikTok. All right, but I'm PJ and I'm out.